I'm trying to uh, do my utmost uh, with the course of the videos uh, to help people as much spiritually out of the Bible, um, where all the healing will come from if you're actually going into it and doing your due diligence. Uh, as even the legal system requires due diligence, certainly the spiritual does. So if you're not reading the mind of God out of the Bible, then you're not doing your due diligence. And therefore, it'll make things very hard to understand. Uh, Jesus healed physically, but he also healed spiritually uh, people with knowledge. And uh, therefore, the, the, the videos are really only for that intent, is to heal you spiritually, uh, to get you out of that legal world. Because if you're playing in the legal world, you, you have no protection uh, from all the evil things that are about to occur in that legal world that are operating by Satan's governments. So the uh, uh, I'm going to read you a term because if you are in that legal world, you'll realize that they have a, a great definition, and this is applicable in Canadian law, um, definitely within the Commonwealth. So I'm going to read you patient. I have a lot of patience because I'm trying to do a lot of healing spiritually for people. And here's the word patient. Out of... Uh, it's actually the ninth edition Osborne's Concise Law Dictionary. So just you get a chance to look that up. These are quite available. Uh, a person who by reason of mental disorder is incapable of managing his own affairs. It is the term used since the passing of the Mental Health Act 1959 in Leon of Lunatic. Uh, sorry, in lieu of Lunatic. Or person of unsound mind, Senile Mental Health Act, 1985. A patient must have a litigation friend uh, to conduct proceedings on his behalf. So right now, you can understand why you have lawyers involved because they already know you're a lunatic. And in fact, one of the earlier uh, renderings of a lunatic had a lot to do with people who were not lettered in the law, who were not members of the bar. So only the legal members of the bar are considered in that world non-lunatics. So you're walking in automatically as a certifiable. That's why you carry a certified certificate that says you're certifiable um, that has to do with the health World Health Organization and the United Nations conducting this and just letting everybody know that you're nothing more than a patient. So of course, they're going to do whatever they want to do to you in those hospitals. And therefore, you're considered to be of not, of not a sound mind. And you couldn't be of sound mind if you walk into those places of death. So it's time for you to take responsibility for your health and be aware that you don't want to go into these locations. Those are, those are actually nothing more than uh, roads that lead to death and look what's happened um, even over this supposed pandemic. 